Okay, so I want to give you a little road map of, of where I'm going to go tonight. I'm going to, we're going to discuss a little bit about theology. Theology just meaning the study of God, the study of, of divine things. And then I'm going to tell you a story. Let's start with the theology. Did Jesus die on the cross? Yes. Did Jesus die on the cross for our sins? Yes. yes. Did Jesus have to die on the cross? No. Yes. <clears throat> when Jesus was crucified, did that act in and of itself that single act constitute the sacrifice of Christ? No. No. And there's a reason why the answer to that is no. Right? We should know it. We think it must be the cross. But the cross can only be interpreted in light of Holy Thursday's actions. Because the sacrifice that Jesus gives to us, the sacrifice is Holy Thursday. Is Holy Thursday. So, why is that? Five words from the scriptures, the truest that ever were spoken from the Baptist. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God. The Lamb. The Lamb comes from what image? Sacrifice. Let's go back to Abraham. Let's talk a little bit about Abraham. Because Abraham, of course, is tested by God. And we know how he was tested by God, right? Abraham had one son, his only beloved son, Isaac. And God says, go up this hill and sacrifice Isaac. And Abraham takes Isaac up the hill. And by the way, Isaac carries the wood up to the hill for the sacrifice. But God repents of killing Isaac. But before that, Isaac says something very, very interesting. Isaac says, Father, where will we find the lamb for the sacrifice? And Abraham says, the Lord God himself will give the sacrifice. The Lord, our God himself, will make the sacrifice. That is the meaning of the cross. The Lamb of God. And so I say it, it is related, of course, to Holy Thursday, where Jesus institutes the greatest sacrament, his body and blood, which gives life to all of us and all the world. And that's on Holy Thursday when he says, this is my body. This is my blood. Drink it. This is the everlasting <coughs> covenant. That is the meaning the meaning of the cross is Jesus' sacrifice for us that we continue to have every single day of our lives if we wish to. Jesus is the Lamb of God, the one who is sacrificed so that we may live. So I told you I was going to tell you a story. Here's the story. 
In 1934, John O'Hara wrote an amazing novel, one of the 50 greatest novels of the 20th century. And the novel is called An Appointment in Samara. And this is the story. At the very front of the book, there is what's called a frontispiece, a little, a little passage. And it was written by Somerset Maugham. And this is how it goes. There was once a man who lived in Baghdad. And he sent his servant into the marketplace to buy provisions for the day. Shortly thereafter, the servant came back white and trembling. And his master said, what happened? He said, master, I went into the marketplace and I was jostled by a woman. And when I turned to look, I saw that it was death. And death <clears throat> made a threatening gesture toward me. So, Master, if I can take your fastest horse and travel out of Baghdad, out of this city, away from my faith, I will ride all night to go to Samara, this local town, and I will not allow death to find me there. So, off he went. Later that day, the master needed provisions himself. So he himself went into the town. And while he was there, he too saw death. And he said to death, why did you make a threatening gesture to my servant? And death said to him, I didn't mean that it should be a threatening gesture. Actually, it was a start of surprise. I was surprised that he was in Baghdad for tonight. I have an appointment with him in Samar. Remember, nothing we can do can cheat death. Nothing we can do can cheat death, except that death is not the end. And we go back, this time, to the prophet Jonah. And Jonah, in Jonah 2, says this. I went down into the countries under the earth. To the peoples of the past. But you lifted my life from the pit, O oh Lord. 